Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. And numbers one and two there, and I want you to use what we know about the altitude being the geometric mean and the legs individually of this triangle being the geometric mean. All right, so I'll see if you can solve for x, and uh, you uh, click on pause and give it a try. All right, at this point, I'm going to assume that you've tried this and you've also seen my previous videos and know what to do. But let's kind of analyze it. Maybe I can give you a little hint if you're stuck. Number one, x is this part of the hypotenuse, and nine is the remaining part of the hypotenuse. Okay, I do not know the altitude, but I know that one of the legs is 15. Okay, and remember that what I talked about was that one of the legs, in this case the 15, can be the geometric mean between the near part of the hypotenuse and the entire hypotenuse. Okay, so you have to know what to do with that x there. And number two, x is the entire hypotenuse here. This part is 36, and we know that this altitude is labeled 6 radical 13. All right, what you're gonna have to do is remember that um, geometric mean proportion where the altitude is the geometric mean between the two parts of the hypotenuse. All right, let's take a look at the answers and how we get them. All right, what we have to do is set up a proportion, and the leg 15 there is going to be the geometric mean, and so we're going to put it in the lower left, upper right. Okay, that's what geometric mean means. And that 15 is the geometric mean between the near part of the hypotenuse, which is the 9, and the entire hypotenuse, okay? Now the trick is that you don't just put x. The whole thing is x plus 9, right? Okay, now we're gonna be multiplying, across multiplying, so it's gonna be that 9 times the x plus 9 equals 15 times 15, which is 225. Okay, use the distributive property to multiply this out. 9 times x and 9 times 9. And then it's a simple matter of a two-step equation. Okay, so we're going to subtract 81 from each side. And 9x is going to be 144. And yes, we're going to divide each side by 9 to finish. 144 divided by 9, there we go, 16. All right, I hope that you tried that and hope that you understand how I worked it out. And number two, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the altitude here, which is labeled 6 radical 13, is the geometric mean between the 36 part of the hypotenuse and this part of the hypotenuse. Now the whole thing is x, so if we subtract 36, that will be what we can call this part. All right, so we do have to label it with another x expression. So the altitude, which is 6 radical 13, goes in both of these places here in my proportion, diagonally across from each other. I usually go low, lower left, upper right. And one part of the hypotenuse, which is the smaller part, looks like x minus 36, compared to the other part, which is 36. All right, we're going to cross multiply here, which is going to give me 36 times x minus 6. Use some parentheses. And now we do 6 radical 13 times 6 radical 13. All right, now a little bit of a lesson and maybe a review, hopefully, of how you multiply radicals. All right, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and just do the 6 times the 6, so that's going to be 36. And the square root of 13 times itself, you're squaring what is being the square root of something. So you're undoing the square root. In other words, radical 13 times radical 13 is just going to be 13. 
all right? So it's going to be 36 times 13. And then when we multiply the 36 twice with the distributive property, it's going to be 36x minus what's 36 squared? 1296. All right, let's simplify this mess here. We've got 36x minus 1296. Make that a 1296. And 36 times 13, double check that on your calculator, it should be 468. All right, let's add 1296 to each side. So 36x equals 1764. Follow me on the calculator, hopefully. And then the last step, of course, is to divide by 36. Now I'm going over that fairly quickly because I'm assuming as a geometry student, these um, several step equations aren't that much of a problem. If uh, I kind of lost you, you can uh, rewind and maybe take another look at my work there. But 1764 divided by 36 gives us our final answer for x, 49. That's the entire hypotenuse. All right, well, look for more of these video challenge or viewer challenge problems as I get comments from my viewers. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.